let's show a few fabulous scrapbooking ideas for beginners. We'll need color cardstock, color paper, ribbon, and embellishments. Measure out a square on color cardboard. Cut off the excess. Let's make a chocolate ice cream stick shaped scrap card. Outline an ice cream on the square. Make it bitten. Cut off the excess. Take brown cardboard for a chocolate glaze. Trace the ice cream outline. Draw the melting glaze. Cut it out. Add glue. We're using a glue stick, but white glue will be okay. Attach the details. The bitten chocolate can be smaller than the ice cream. Now, take color strips. Cut them into small squares. Embellish the ice cream. Fold color paper accordion style to attach pages. Choose color pages to make leafing through them fun. Add glue to an accordion pleat. Attach a page. Continue gluing the pages. Make a back cover. Trace the ice cream. Cut it out. Attach the accordion to the back. Cover with the front. The ice cream stick is still missing. Cut out the appropriate shape. Attach a stick to the cover. Attach acrylic embellishments with multi-purpose glue. Tie a bow around the stick. Add some details inside. Done! The ice cream stick shaped scrap card will keep your best summer memories for a long time. For other scrapbooking ideas, we'll need color cardboard and paper, embossed paper, scrapbook paper, and tags. Make a card base by folding cardboard in half. This card is for donut lovers. Draw circles on beige cardstock using a pair of compasses. Some circles can be cut on the sides. Cut them out. Draw a smaller circle on pink paper. Cut it out. Make a wavy outline of color glazing. It looks like a flower. Cut it out. It will be the first donut glaze. Make another glazing blue. Add dark shades for a contrast. Done! Now draw small circles for central holes. Cut them out. All the details are made. Let's assemble the donuts. Attach glazing to the donut circles. Put holes in the center. Cut off the excess where necessary. Attach a background to the card front. Place the donuts. Make sprinkles by cutting color paper into small pieces. Decorate the donuts. Add a tag. The cool donut card will be a perfect gift for a donut lover. Take a base for another card. Choose a background and attach it to the front. Let's depict a cupcake with a white topping. Start with a brown cake. Add white topping shaped like a cloud. Use embossed paper. A small cherry will add a bright accent. Draw it on red paper. Add a leaf stem. Let's attach the elements. The cake first, then the topping and the cherry. Add a couple of beads. Keep in mind a wish note. The cute cupcake card can be presented both to a kid or an adult. Here they are! We've got splendid sweet cards which can be perfect scrapbooking ideas for beginners.
In our tutorial, we'll make a lovely rabbit card quickly and easily. We'll need colored cardboard and patterned paper. Lay a cutting board. Take the patterned paper. Turn it over and mark off half inch strips. Use a ruler and a pencil. Cut out the strips with a craft knife. It's a quick and easy way. Place the strips on a piece of paper. Use white glue. Attach the strips next to each other without gaps, alternating thin and wide elements of different colors. Draw a rabbit silhouette. Start with the body, resembling an oval. Then add a head and ears. Cut it out. Place the rabbit on the striped background. Trace the stencil. Cut it out again. Make a card base. Fold the color cardboard in half. Attach a piece of light cardstock onto the front side. Stick the rabbit in the center. Don't forget a message paper. Done! We've made a bright and festive rabbit card. You only need to add a few words, and a lovely greeting will become a pleasant surprise to the recipient. In this video, we'll show how to make a green watercolor cut card. We'll need watercolors, color cardstock, tags, and scrapbook paper. Paint white cardboard with watercolor. Experiment with water and green colors. Be careful with dark shades to avoid making a dirty stain. Add blue as it matches the green shades we are using. Gradually cover the entire surface. While the base dries, take another cardboard. You may choose a colored piece of soft shades. Don't take a bright one. Draw a leaf stem. We'll cut out the stem, so its color will be the watercolor background. That's why it's better to draw a simple outline with the least amount of details. Define the silhouette. We'll use a craft knife, so don't forget to underlay a cutting board. Cut out the outline. Be careful to keep the stem safe. We'll use it later on. Pull out the leaves. Add glue to the cardboard. We're using a glue stick, but white glue will do well. Attach to the watercolor background. Cut off the edges. Use the craft knife and a metal ruler. Choose a bright base. Crimson matches gray-green shades well. Take pale blue herringbone scrapbook paper as another middle background. Attach to the crimson base. Place the watercolor cut element on top. Add a tag. Put a wish note inside. Add a floral cutout. It will emphasize the overall design. This green DIY watercolor cut card is fresh and bright, recalling spring in nature. You can send it as a greeting card at any time in the year. Today, we will make a scrap card and master the spray painting technique, which will give the handmade card a unique finish. Cover the work surface with old papers to protect the table from paint stains. Before making the scrap card, let's first work out the painting technique. This can be used in other homemade scrapbooking card ideas. For that, we will need a sheet of white paper, gouache paint, we've chosen a blue color, an ordinary toothbrush and an old table knife. Take some waste paper. We're going to use it for the tear-off technique. Dip the toothbrush into the gouache. For the desired effect, the paint should be thin. Take a knife and pressing slightly, draw it along the brush bristles towards you. A blunt knife works best. Any narrow object of a rectangular shape can actually substitute for a knife. A ruler, for instance. The density of the paint makes no difference. It's up to your taste. Wait until the paint dries and carefully remove the scraps of paper from the surface. Here we have light white clouds. Let's try another variety of spray technique. For that, we'll need a template of a dolphin. 
you may either hand draw it or print out the image from the internet. A cardboard one is easier to work with and can be used multiple times. Let's add another color. We've chosen red for a brighter look. You may use several colors at a time. The steps are the same. You may use one or a number of images. Just work out the arrangement of the templates in advance. The dolphin paper is ready. Now, let's use this technique for a handmade scrap card. Again, we're working with templates. We'll need an ordinary wooden kitchen board, a stationary knife, a ruler, and a sheet of paper. Cut some strips of random sizes. Now, start painting. You may use paper of any size, color, and thickness. Arrange the strips randomly. Repeat the same painting technique. Now, let's make the card. Take a card base. It's better to use a thick cardboard. Select other materials that you like. Paper can be thick or transparent, roughly textured or absolutely smooth. You can make a card from ready-to-use paper or a handmade one like in our case. A stem of dried flowers is going to embellish our card. It matches perfectly with the paper. Take white glue and squeeze a bit on the paper. Use a paintbrush to prevent the glue appearing on the surface. Take the card base and fold it in half. Smooth flat the edge of the card with the ruler. Glue the elements to the card base. If the paper is thick, press it down with your fingers. Hot glue the dried flower stem and teeny blossoms on the card. The front of the card is ready. It's time to think of a message. You can also pre-print the text for your scrap card insert. We're going to glue a blank white paper one. Now, it's only lacking some warm words to make it a nice gift for a special person. Are you going to a birthday party? Craft a non-standard handmade gift, testing a glitter and hairspray life hack. We'll need a piece of black cardstock. Score a line across the center. Use a ruler and a sharp wooden stick. Fold along the scored line. We've made a smile template on a separate piece of paper. Score the outline with the sharp end. Paint the teeth white. Cover the lips with white stationary glue. Sprinkle with big glitter. We've chosen a royal blue color. Shake off the excess. Fasten the glitter with hairspray. Attach a wish note inside. The smiling gift card looks totally awesome. The recipient will be absolutely impressed to have got this amazing DIY present. Today, we'll prepare handmade scrapbooking paper and use it as a background in card making. Lay a protecting cover. We'll need watercolors, water, a brush, and small pieces of paper. Let's make several types of background to start with. We'll paint the first one on the wet paper. Use the wet brush to cover the whole surface. Add colors at random. You'll get colorful stains on the wet paper as soon as you touch the surface. Let it dry. Make another striped background. Paint random strips on the dry paper. Another type. There are some color stains and dots on top. Though there can be anything. 
Use your imagination. The background is dry. Squeeze some oil paint onto the palette. Add white glue, about a third. Mix with the brush to get a milkshake consistency. If the mixture is still too thick, add some more glue. You'll need thin sticks. Use matches or toothpicks. Now, cover the background with the oil and glue mixture. Take a match and scratch a pattern on the wet surface. You just remove some paint to see the background. Clear the match from time to time. Scratch the spiral pattern on the paper. You can make any ornament you wish, but try to avoid too intricate patterns to be able to cover the whole surface with it until the paint is dry. Continue working with the other backgrounds. Follow the same steps using different colors. Add some glue. Stir well. Cover the background. Scratch some patterns. This time we'll make diamond shapes. Another paper type. You can scratch something else depending on the way you will further use the background. The mixture of oil paint and white glue dries fast. Choose the background you like and continue. Take a card base. Cut out the appropriate background fragment. We have chosen foxes as the main characters of the card. You may print out the picture of the fox from the internet. Think out the composition. Let's make the front cover. Attach the details using white glue. Add the glue with the brush. Attach the color cardboard to the base. See how the elements fit. Trim the background details. Stick them together. Put a note paper inside. Repeat the elements from the front cover inside. Done! We use the handmade paper to make a fox card. The recipient will be happy to get this lovely card at any time. Give your thumbs up and feel free to comment. Join us and be sure to subscribe to our channel to choose one out of the plenty of cards we suggest and craft quickly and easily with us.